Hey, you look pretty exhausted. Yeah, it's been a really long day. So, how about I help you get ready for bed? I know I've always wanted someone to get ready, to get me ready for bed whenever I feel really, really tired, especially because I like to make sure my hair is all set for the next day. So, yeah, sure, I'll help you. My day wasn't quite as long as yours, so I'm still feeling actually pretty energetic, but why don't we get started? Um, have you brushed your teeth? Okay, good. And you're in your pajamas. Perfect. Okay, why don't we actually start with a lip scrub? Um, that way if it gets all over your face, um, it won't really matter because we'll do the, the, um, cleanser after that. So let me just grab it. Okay. So this is the lip scrub that came with your chapstick, right? Let's take a peek. You want to smell it? What do you think? It's just a simple sugar scrub and it doesn't really smell like much, does it? Just kind of sweet. Alright, well, can you just close your mouth for me? Great. Match your lips like that, okay? A little bit more. Okay, I think that's enough. Let me grab a little wipe. Just wipe it off. Okay, I think most of it's gone, but we'll get the rest now. So, oh wait, but before we move on to cleansing your skin, let's put the chapstick on. This one also smells sweet. Raw sugar, pineapple, maki berry, not sure if I said that right, and coconut. Is this your favorite? Really? Honestly, it's mine too. It's kind of like... I don't know, it's not very greasy, but it is very moisturizing, so I don't know, I really like it, even though it is, it's like on the greasier side of chapsticks, when you think about chapsticks, but then on your lips, it doesn't feel like bad greasy, so I don't know, I really love it. Anyway. I thought it would be a good idea to cleanse your skin before doing your hair just because sometimes the cleanser can kind of wake you up since it is putting a cool liquid on your face so we'll start there and I know you're feeling really tired so if this wakes you up hopefully you'll start falling back asleep by the time that we get to the hair brushing so you have really dry skin right? Yeah, I don't have super dry skin, but it is on the dry side, so I know where you're coming from. Yeah, and you don't typically wash your face every night, do you? Mm -mm. Yeah, honestly, I'm the same way. Um, if I use a cleanser every day, it actually dries out my skin too much. So I only use it in the shower, and then in between, I'll wash my face with my cellar water. How's that sound? Okay, so I have this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water with Vitamin C All-in-One Brightening. It says removes makeup, cleanses, and gives glow. Um, you can use it on face, lips, and eyes. And it's for dull skin or even skin. There's no alcohol, oil, or fragrance. Have you ever used this? So, I see. You've used the Garnier Micellar Water, but just not this one. Well, I picked this up because I read 
a little bit about vitamin C online and I kind of forgot everything that I read, but I think I think it was supposed to help with anti-aging. So I figured, why not give it a try, right? Especially because I use it anyway just to cleanse my skin. Now, you're not really wearing much makeup, are you? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, I agree with you. Makeup is a lot of fun to play with, but when it comes to taking it off at the end of the day, it's such a hassle, especially for people like us who have trouble using a cleanser on a daily basis. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing, I think, because this should get everything off and we won't have to do a double cleanse. We can just go with this. Yeah, so you're just wearing a little bit of concealer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel you. That's how I go a lot of days, too. Just cover little spots, maybe a little bit of chapstick or tinted chapstick like I have today. Yeah, I mean, it's really fun to do like a full-on like glam look, especially like with glittery eyeshadow and stuff. Ugh, but I just don't have the time to do it every day and it's so hard to take off, so I totally feel you with that. But you know what? You're gorgeous <laughs> as it is, so you really don't need any makeup. I don't think anyone does for that matter. It's really just um, sort of a thing to do for fun, I think. Although I know it can give confidence too, so it is whatever it it is whatever you want it to be. Okay, let me grab a um, little cleansing pad. So I don't know if you noticed, but these are actually claw. And they are reusable, and don't worry, they are clean, as are my hands. I should have told you that before we started, but I did, of course, wash my hands for you. Um, sometimes they do have a little bit of stains on them from, like, mascara or whatever makeup, but um, this one looks pretty clean. But even if I grab one that looks stained, just know they are all clean. They went through the washing machine. Um, but I really like these because they really are the same thing as just a makeup pad that you would buy at the store Like a disposable one, but it's a little bit better for the environment And I don't know. I just feel better knowing that I'm not throwing so much stuff away But anyway, let's cleanse your face Wipe it all over your face. I'm gonna go down your neck a little bit too. They always say, don't forget your neck. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much on here. You know, it is still good to go over with the um, micellar cleansers, just because even if you're not wearing makeup, your skin can get dirty, you sweat, especially right now. Summer may be coming to a close, but it's still quite warm out, don't you think? So, it's good to even just wipe like this if washing your face isn't the way for you to go. Okay. I think you're all set. I'll just put this one aside so I know that it's been used. Alright, so now 
Now we're going to go ahead and apply a serum. I have this uh, hyaluronic acid serum. And whenever you think of acid, it sounds scary, right? But this is, from what I understand, supposed to help your skin retain moisture, giving it a more youthful and plump look and also just keeping it moisturized since you do have dry skin that's really important for you so basically you just need to put on a few drops of this let it soak in and then you can put on the moisturizer so and you see this has a dropper I quite like the little droppers, to be honest. It's easy to just kind of drop it on your skin and then rub it in, so it's kind of nice that you don't have to dip your hands in anything. Let me try and get a good amount here. And this one is kind of sticky almost. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit, a little bit sticky. Um, it doesn't really feel sticky on the skin though, once it um, kind of dries down or like, dries down isn't what I'm <laughs> trying to say, it sinks in, that's what I'm looking for. It's not really sticky once it sinks in, so don't worry about being uncomfortable, okay? some on your skin and then rub it in for you, okay? A little drip here, drip here, drip here, drip here. As we say, more is more. But I, I maybe did a little too much. That's okay. We'll bring it down on your neck, okay? Just rub that in. Great. Okay. I think we're good with that. So after the serum, we're going to go ahead and do a moisturizer and an eye cream. So I have this Cetaphil moisturizer. And you can actually use it on your whole body and your face. I really like it because it doesn't feel greasy, but it does do a pretty good job of moisturizing. And I haven't had any problems with it clogging my pores either. So, hopefully it'll work for you too. I'll just get a little bit.
once again will go down your neck as well. Can't neglect the neck. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit more, um, and we're going to put it on your hands because I don't know about you, but my hands are so dry, even though it's summer, because I'm kind of a germaphobe and I wash them a lot. I know everyone's been washing their hands a lot this season, so we got to make sure to also put some on our hands, and luckily, this one is good for everywhere. So I'll just grab a little more for you. hands, please. Okay. Okay, great. Now we're going to move on to the eye cream. So I have this one, and it's actually an anti-aging, anti-wrinkle cream, um, but it doesn't have any retinol or anything in it. I really don't know how well it works because I I'm at a at an age where I don't quite need anti-aging. Um, the reason I got it is because I do want to start anti-aging really early, so that way I'll hopefully kind of like combat the effects before they even happen. So that's why I got this. But um, I mean it's an eye cream. <laughs> So, let's try it on you. Oh, and if you're wondering, it's called Palms Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. It claims to give firmer looking skin in two weeks. Honestly, I just grabbed this one because I'm kind of broke, and this is a really affordable brand. So, let's get to it. Okay. Just a little bit on each eye here. And I like to not get too close. I mean, you do want to go around and kind of underneath and near where the crow's feet would form. But you have to be careful because obviously you don't want to get it actually in your eye. And the skin on your eyelids is really delicate too. So... Let me know if it feels okay, alright? I've never had any issue with any burning or stinging or anything like that, but it does have fragrance in it, which I don't love. Um, but hopefully it won't bother you, so just let me know if it does and we'll wash it off right away, okay? You're not too involved with your skincare, are you? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, I figured considering you don't um, normally do a foaming cleanser, that you probably were more like me and just kind of did the basics. Yeah, honestly, I know that like there's some people that are super into skincare and that's great, but I mean, I just want to go to sleep, <laughs> right? Okay, so, well, let's um brush your hair then. I have a clean hairbrush for you. Oh, you wouldn't even mind if I used mine? Well, that's sweet of you. But I actually happen to have this extra one. 
because I bought a two pack and this is a wet brush. So it's really good at detangling both wet and dry hair. And it's one of the most pain free hair brushes I've ever used. Yeah, you have heard of them. Yeah, they're pretty popular now. And there's a lot of like off brands that are trying to copy them and make their own. But I've always thought the name brand actually does it best. There's a lot of stuff that I will buy non-name and off brands for, but this is one that I'm willing to spend the money for. But pro tip, well, I'll just give you this brush, but if you ever break it or it gets old and you just need to replace it, try looking at like Marshall's Home Goods, because a lot of times they have actual name brand wet brushes. They're like half the price of what you pay at like Target or similar retailers, so I actually got this one at Kohl's and it was a set of two and it's ten dollars so that was really good too because normally they're ten dollars a piece so just some tips for you <laughs> In your hair here, just half and half. It's actually not that smiled. I'm really surprised. For how long of a day it's been and how much you've done. Your hair is all brushed, it looks pretty good. There. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna go get ready for bed myself now, so. Sleep well! <laughs>